Hello and welcome to another fig 1 to 6 scale dragon figure review. Um, here we have Charles Blackie Black uh, from the Royal West uh, Kent Regiment and he is a private British ex British Expeditionary Force from France 1940. So from during the Battle of France in 1940 up to the Dunkirk evacuation. Uh, it's quite a famous regiment, the Royal West Kent. Um, they've been in the British forces for quite a number of decades. I think they've um, were at least 70 or 80 years running, I think. Uh, I think the 60s the regiment came to an end. But um, no, they, the Royal West Kent Regiment fought um, quite a few campaigns in World War II. They were one of the first few to be put straight into action in the Battle of France. Um, and also, they took quite heavy losses at the evacuation at Dunkirk. And subsequently, they fought in campaigns in Italy, uh, well, North Africa, Italy. And I think they were finished in Greece, I think. But so, yeah, as you can see, quite a lot of gear. I've been looking to get this figure for a long time, um, only really for the right price that I was happy to get him at. Uh, I got him for 75 which is a lot, but to be honest, I've been seeing figures um, like this figure go for, I think, 60 or just over 60 in total without the box. So, you know, I think this is a rel relatively good deal. Uh, so, as you can see, has his... Bayonet, uh, Lee Enfield in here, and then there's the figure, has his backpack, his bandolier, um, magazines, insignia, helmet, uh, figure himself, his gaiters, water canteen, gas mask bag, shovel and entrenching tool, cover for it, for the entrenching tool, his mug for his hot drinks, ammo pouches, bedroll, the blanket or um, canvas cover, like raincoat, and then his um, straps, his webbing. So yeah, really nice box. You got your standard picture on the front, with a couple of different poses on there. Uh, made in 2006, so 13 years old or so now. But yeah, so let's get him out of the box. got quite a few um, figure reviews still to do. Uh, I got this figure quite a few, a couple months ago now. And I've, only because of university have I not really been able to open any of the figures. I've just had them sat there. And that's quite hard not like, to resist opening them. Um, but yep, yeah, here we go. Here's the figure. His normal dress uniform. It's a nice head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Because uh, there is a, I think they call it X-Value version of Charles Black, which is in the North African campaign, which is pretty much like the exact same head sculpt, but I think he has black hair. I did have him when I was younger. I bought him when he first came out um, into the shops, like maybe, what, 10 years ago or so now, maybe a little bit less. Um... And yeah, I as a kid, I, one of the like he didn't really stand the test of time, and I ended up moving him on because I there were bits of him missing. The strap of the Lee Enfield had gone, so I sort of moved him on a couple years ago. Because if I'm gonna, I would like to get him again, the X value version of him, the North African um, theatre. So. I would like him, but have him in mint condition and actually like all intact. But as a kid, I was not as aware of how to look after them. I think as a, as you would be. But it didn't take me long to cotton on not to mess around with them because they are quite fragile. Yeah, here there's um, Charles's sculpt, head sculpt. Here's his helmet. Pop that in there. Help it fit the head better. And then you've got your usual strap for the helmet. And then you have this little sticker of um, insignia. Like stickers with insignia on. You've got 
but be very careful with taking it off, make sure it doesn't rip too much. So unfortunately the cellar tapes on there. So yep, yeah, you've got the insignias there to put on the helmet, etc. Um, you've also then got here little patches to put on the arms on the side. And you've got of course his Lee Enfield. Your standard, it's got it's working, got a working bolt that you can pull back. Uh, strap, which is nice. Really nice. It's a great rifle. Love the Lee Enfield. So I'm glad to have another figure with it. Overall, of course, love the British figures. Um, and yeah, then you got his backpack. And his gaiters, bandolier and all that. I won't bore you with running through them all. Um, and yeah, right. So, I'll put him all together. And then I'll show you what he looks like. Right, so here is Charles Black all done up. Looks extremely, extremely good. All done up. Definitely one of my favourite figures um, in my collection, if not my favourite, which is saying a lot, considering I have over maybe like 130 or so. It, it's I have a lot, and he's definitely right up there. He just looks fantastic, all done up, and he, it was probably the British bias playing a part, but I just love the uniform, I just love all the gear that he has on, it just looks great. So, start off with his helmet, so you can see he's got his little um, Royal West Kent insignia on both sides of his helmet there. You've got your standard strap with your Brody helmet, the uh, British War in the early war. You have your gas mask container. It doesn't have a gas mask inside it, just to point out. His bandolier, which you can put his ammo pouches in. Uh, he then has, sorry, ammo, his magazines, not ammo pouches. Um, then we have his ammo pouches here. Um, and of course, his belt. Then you have more insignia on his arm and you have it on the other side of his arm they come in twos but i cut mine down the middle and have one on each arm so i'm pretty sure that's how it was meant to be um but don't quote me on that but i think that's how it's meant to be uh then you have his water canteen just here which comes off uh, right, so actually, now's a good time for a tip if you're not aware of how to do British figures, really, or if it's the first time. So you see the strap that goes through these um, pieces here. It will come down uh, out here, and then that's for, to attach onto the water canteen. And then at the back, you have one. It obviously continues, but you use the other side, the one that comes across, to attach the other hook from the canteen on and then you do the exact same for the bayonet and his shovel his entrenching tool but the bayonet you wrap round so when you're doing up the shovel to tighten it up you put the the bayonet through and the sheath through and you also attach it onto the belt with its little open it has like an open bit at the top that you feed it through feed the belt through and to do so, you need to take the little metal bit off uh, that side of the belt, just so it fits through easier. Um, so yeah, there he is at the back. And then you have his little um, canvas um, sheet that it would have had for like a raincoat. Put, fold it up a little bit, a few times, and it fits nice and snug up the top, and then down, feed down, um, and then you do that up and have the little mug for his t on there in the strap uh same goes for this um bedroll canvas bedroll um you just pop it on top of it and you can be able to feed you should be able to feed the top of these um straps through the corner hooks like on the backpack either side and that will hold it in place nicely 
Um, so yeah, that's what he looks like at the back. Looks great. I, I just love like backpacks and British backpacks always look really nice. I, I just think it adds a lot to the figure having it there. Um, and yeah, then here's his Lee Enfield rifle. Which he holds really well. I just like that pose um, of him holding it down by his side. All right, I'll just pop it in for him to hold and pose him with it. Right, so let's do this. So he holds it nicely. You can have, you know, a pose like this with it. So he holds it nice and snug. So you can have him sort of just holding it like that. Or in a firing position. Like so. Holds that really nicely. I love how that looks. Um... But yeah, I just like him holding it like that. It looks really good, I think. Just holding it down by his side. I think it looks lovely like that. So, yeah, there we go. Well, definitely um, a rare figure. Very hard to find. Um, and when you do find him, he's generally very expensive. Um, I managed to pick mine up for £70, uh, pounds, that is. Um, but if you can find him, and um, for say like under £100, pounds, so however that may, however much that may be in, uh, in dollars or your currency, so say euros, um, then yeah, I would definitely say go for it. He's definitely worthwhile he's so he's one of my like i say one, one of my favorites in my collection if not my favorite overall just looks fantastic when he's all done up um and one of the best made british figures out there in my opinion um so well worth getting if you can so yeah there he is uh thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one